G'day everyone, Tim Thompson here. Long has reigned the debate, what is the strongest knot, what is the strongest joiner, and there are lots and lots of comments on my videos and everyone else's, everyone seems to have an opinion. Well, thanks to the folks from Spiral Fast and to Steve Casamento from Trigger Engineering today, we're hoping to solve that debate once and for all. Next time you're at the pub and you're talking about what the strongest knot for your fence is, Google this video, show everyone, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, you've got no idea how much it helps. So Steve, thanks very much, mate, for the chance to make this video here in your amazing workshop where you are now knocking out your extra large fence stays. I'd also like to thank Spiral Fast. They are providing the test rig for today. Steve's here as the independent witness because, you know, he's an engineer, I'm not. Let's go over the rig and let's show you how it works first. And then we're gonna start out with a baseline and find out how much your average two and a half mil high tensile wire can take before it breaks. And then in series, we're gonna go through each knot type and each joiner type and find out who comes out with the best linear pull rate before they break and fail. So the test bed itself is quite simple. At three meters in length, it's a simple pulley at one end with a wire round around, wound around it, joined together by a spiral fast, You've got your single piece of wire running down the middle. We're gonna put all our joiners in the center of the bed. Then it joins into another spiral fast as the wire loops through a set of digital linear pull scales. They are connected to a lever that is operated by a hydraulic jack. So as we jack this up, we increase the pull on the wire. The whole thing is measured in kilograms in this box and we have a camera set up to record the readout of the kilogram linear rate pull. We're going to start out, of course, as you should with any scientific trial, with a control. So we're simply going to find out what the breaking strain of 2.5mm high tensile wire is first. Now I want to drive home tonight so we're going to put some safety guards on before we start the experiment. And just to make it feel like science, on with some speed dealers, away we go. That was fun. Well, that was a pretty fair test because the wire has broken fair in the middle of the test bed. That means that it wasn't compromised and we got a really accurate pull rate of the load bearing capacity of this wire. Now moving forward, let's try out the load bearing capacity of various knots first, and then let's have a look at all the popular joiners and see which one wins the battle of the strain. For each of these tests, I'm removing and replacing all of the wire. I'm not reusing any of it because it's already been strained and compromised. Fresh one each time. Okay, so we've established the strength of our wire. Now we're up to the knots. First knot off the bed will be the dodgiest one of the evening, the simple double loop. You know you've done one before. Come on, you know. To be honest with you, that fared better than I thought it would. Now we'll take all the wire off and we'll do our figure eight because that's next down the line. So Steve, we're up to the figure eight and we thought we'd come up with a bit of a scoreboard so far. Mm -hmm. We've reviewed the footage as best we can in the cold light of day and we think the wire got up to about 585 kilos before it broke. Yep. And we reckon the double loop got up to about 260 kilos before it broke. Now we're up to the figure eight. We've got that set up. Let's get our guards in place and give her a crank. Yep. Alrighty, let's crank the figure eight, Steve. See how it goes. It's going to take up for a fair while because these things lose a lot of tension taking up. So it's going to take a while to come up. We're starting to see the pressure climb. It's already beating the double loop, as you would expect, but not by much. What was that? 
about 350, 360. 360. Let's review the footage, Richie. And just in case anyone was wondering, it broke exactly where figure eight knots always do on the bend. All right, Steve, so our scoreboard update yep. after doing the figure eight. We've got standard wire at 585, our double loop at 260, our figure eight at 394. Now we're moving on to the Donald knot. Let's see how this one holds up, otherwise known as just your simple strainer knot. All right, so here we go with the Donald knot. Well, it's not losing any length, and this is why I like this particular knot. It's going up evenly in pressure, as you can see, as I'm jacking away. And this is why you use this one with a pair of strainers. 400 kilos. Now, interestingly, the knot has failed, but the wire has not come apart. Bugger me dead, that hasn't failed at all. Let's keep going. All right, so we'll keep pumping and see what happens now. 400 and let's go 410. All right, Steve, so three knots or two real knots in. We've got a score update, wire 585, the double loop 260, figure eight 394, the Donald 410, but no loss of length. Now we're up to the Tex Brown. Let's see how this little baby holds up. The no loss of length needs to be emphasised. That's really important, that. It is. Okay, Tex Brown, let's go. Oh, he's beating the double loop. We've beaten the figure eight. Only just. Only just beaten the figure eight. I reckon that came in at about 390. Would you say that's about right, Steve? Yeah, a bit over 390. A bit over 390? Yeah. And once again, the knot's broken right where you twist it. You can't twist wire and expect it to hold up. All right, Steve, how did we go with the Tex Brown? So we've got wire at 585, double loop at 260, figure eight at 394, Donald at 410, Tex at 399. Bugger all difference in it between the Donald and the Tex. Both of them held up reasonably well. Didn't lose any length of wire with either of those. The figure eight, of course, took up. If you were using that between a set of strainers and you thought you'd strain the wire to 400 kilos, you'd probably be more likely to get 200 by the time it takes up, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so figure eight, strong enough, but really only useful for joining loose wire, say when you're changing reels. If you're gonna be using a set of strainers, either the Donald or Tex, there's bugger all in it. Just do whichever one suits you best. All right, so now let's check out the Gripple. It's mounted on our test platform, and I, for one, I'm really keen to see how this one works. There's a bit of wire poking through each side. We've set it up, ready to go. Let's get into it. All right, Gripple in the test bed, hot. And we're rocketing up, no loss of length, as you would expect. Solid joiner. That's given way at about the same tension as our knots. About 400 kilos, would you say, Steve? I think about 370. Now, here's something interesting, folks, with the gripple. We'll just take the safety gauge off and check this out. It's given way here, and it's slid all the way down the wire to the spiral fast that's securing the end. So it's not only given way, it's run down the wire as well. And Steve, what pressure did we get to? We got to 300? 397. 397, we reckon. We want a closer check of the footage. We'll do a replay in slow-mo in the video so it makes sense. All right, so I'm just showing you the setup for this one. We're now testing the Hayes HC2 crimp. And it's very important that I start crimping at one end and crimp right to the other with overlap on each bite. You've got to hold your tongue right, it takes a bit of time, but they reckon these are the bombs. So let's see how much pressure a well crimped crimp can take. So now it's the battle of the joiners, Steve. Remember we've got our wire breaking point at 585 kilos. Now our knots, they're sorted. 
First joiner on the board is the gripple at 397 kilos when it broke. Next up is the crimp. Let's see how well that fares. It's the battle of the joiners. Alrighty, crimp time. We're doing all right. 492-ish. Okay, so we've gained 100 kilos over the knots and the gripple with the crimp. That's Easily 100 kilos. That's not a bad job. So here we go. It was definitely the crimp that gave way. The wire has literally pulled out of the sleeve. And you can see that the wire that got pulled out has been polished. Um, but really impressive job. That's up close to 500 kilos. The breaking strain of the wires at around 600. So that crimp's doing a good job. By so far, it's the clear winner. Now it's time we get a spiral fast involved. Let's find out how that fared. All right, guys, now we're gonna have a guess as to what this is gonna break at. You can see that this is definitely a wire join. You can see the spare bits of wire here. We're not cheating in any way. This is the turn of the spiral fast. Steve, what's your prediction, mate? We had 397 for the gripple, 497 for the crimp. So it's basically 100 kilos difference. What's your prediction for the spiral fast? 520. 520. Mm. I'm gonna go 550. Oh, yeah? Let's see how we get on. Guys, let's play a game. I want you to get onto the comments section right now and predict what you think this will break at before you watch the end of the video. Don't cheat. We don't like cheaters. Put the safety guards on because safety is our objective. Alrighty, hopefully this one goes off with a big bang. Are we ready, Steve? I can't think of a better way to spend a Saturday night than breaking shit. No. It's pretty good. Alright, let's go. Place your bets, people. Last chance, get into the comments section now. All right, bets are off, bets are off. We're, we're, we're stretching the wire, I think. What did we get up to, Steve? Okay, so at around the breaking strain of the wire, the spiral fast slipped. So you've got about 500, I reckon safely about 550 kilos. So let's call it. You reckon 550 is a fair call? Yeah, 590 is what it went to. 590 is what it went to, but then it did slip down. So margin of error, what margin of safety do you reckon we should put into the recommendation? 550 is fine. 550, yeah. So those of you who bet 550 can win, all right? You don't win anything. You just get to brag a lot. Steve, mate, fantastic work today. I really like breaking shit. It's good fun, isn't it? It is. It is. So what have we learned? Let's, let's gaze over our broken spiral fast here. Now, there's something interesting about that. Every other knot, every other joiner gave way and completely broke, like the wire took off. Yeah. Uh, the one, the figure eight stopped dead for a while. It did. Sort of went twang and then bang, didn't it? Yeah. But um, this one's held on, didn't it? Yeah. We're not nearly to, nearly to 600 kilos and it, and it held on. So yeah. if, you're in, if you're in a paddock or something and that wire lets go, at least you're not going to get whipped, hopefully. And it's still going to hold in the stock. Well, that's true, yeah. Like it's going to be loose. Yeah. And you can just you know, restrain it. So what do you reckon? What are our learnings out of this? Some of the knots were surprising. I thought some of them would fail a lot quicker. Yep. So what was your prediction? What was the one that surprised you the most? Just the ones where they double over themselves. As soon as you put a kink in something, yep. in a wire, it's going to... It's inherently it. weak, isn't it? it? Yeah. yeah. I suppose some of them, like the, the Tex, has a couple of kinks, so maybe it yeah. sort of supports each other. Yeah. Probably the best thing we've seen is that the knots and the devices that didn't lose tension as you were tightening them up, or didn't lose length. Yeah, because that's an important thing, isn't it? If you're using some strainers... Yeah, it's not, but in strainers it is. Yeah, so if you're straining up a fence, you don't want to then... Well, you tie a knot, take your strainers off and lose half your tension. Yeah, you think you've got it to four or five hundred kilo. Yeah. And then you tied your knot and back it off and you're down to two, three, four hundred. So. And I suppose that the figure eight was the one that, that just kept going and going for a while, didn't yeah. it? We could see it on the, on the digital gauge, like it was just holding 
tension as we were cranking it up, which means that it was losing if losing you tie length. that at the outside of the strainers, it wouldn't be so bad, but if you if yep. you're tying them in the middle of your strainers, yeah, you'd lose it's heaps. It's going to heap up. I was pleasantly surprised with the Tex Brown mm -hmm. because it's basically a figure eight. Yep. Um, but having that extra wind around made it basically as strong as a Donald knot. Mm -hmm. So either one of them, neither one lost tension and they were both pretty strong, up at around 400 kilos. Yep. And that's, that's more than you're going to want from most fences, isn't it? But I reckon the winner out of it has to be the spiral fast and the crimp is a close second as well. I reckon if you're using crimps, you can be fairly secure. Yeah, but no tools with a crimp, with a spiral fast. But no tools, and that's a huge thing. Like when you're stuck in a paddock and you, all you've got is a set of strainers and you've got your spiral fast, mm. you know you can get out of trouble. Yeah. However, I reckon no matter what, everyone's got to learn how to tie knots because there will be a day where you're in a paddock and you don't have a spiral fast and you don't have a gripple yeah. and you don't have a crimp. Yep. Yeah, so, all right, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much, mate. No, um, no I'm really impressed with this new extra large fence stay. I, I think that that's going to be brilliant mm -hmm. um, and I can't wait to get it out and test it in the paddock. Yeah, we'll test it with some strain gauges on it. I reckon that'd be good. I reckon there's a video right there. Deal? There is, done. Good. Cool. Don't forget guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, check out my website, timthompsonmedia.com.au. You meet great people like Steve on there. He's got his products on my website. There's lots of other tested products on the website, curated content. You can go straight to the videos that you want to see. Check it out. Until then, I'll see you next time. Well, it was fun, mate. Yeah. Ran away. Break some wood. Yeah. You're reusing gripples. You're going to throw them out now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no. No? You're going to give them to your friend for their birthday. Yeah. Yeah.